This is the answer to written homework 57. So we have a loan of this amount uh, and this annual interest rate that's compounded monthly and we're making monthly payments to amortize it over 25 years. Find the monthly payment. So at the beginning of time when this loan was incurred it was a loan for $196,511. So that means that what we know is the present value. So we know that the present value of the loan is 196511. So what we're doing is we're going to use this formula P is R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i to negative n over i and given p is 196511 n is uh, so 25 years with monthly uh, payments so that would be 25 times 12. That's the number of periods. That's 300. And I, well, that's 0 0.075 uh, divided by 12. Uh, so that's 0 0.0757 over 12. So that's uh, 0 0.0068333. So given this, we're told to find R. So find, find R. <clears throat> that is the monthly payment. So solving for R, we have R as P divide by this 1 minus 1 plus i to negative n over i. So that would be 196511 divide by, now I'll evaluate that <coughs> expression. So 1 minus one plus i raised to negative 300 <coughs> divided by i so that's 130 Four point four eight nine eight seven five. <clears throat> so that number is one nine six five one one divided by that one hundred thirty four number. So that is 1461.158322. So rounded to the nearest cent, that'd be 1461.16. So about $1,500 uh, per month. <coughs> Part B, find the unpaid balance. <coughs> after five years. Well, this is a formula that we went over in lecture. The unpaid balance we denoted by Q. <coughs> so that is R multiplied by 1 minus 
1 plus i with exponent negative n minus x and then divide by i where um, <clears throat> we're given that r is this value from part a so 1461.158322 i is the same as before <coughs> 0 0.0757 over 12 which is 0 0.0063 Zero eight three three three, and n <coughs> is the same as before, three hundred. And find the unpaid balance of the loan after five years. So that's x. That's that new x in the formula. So there's been five years of payments. So that's five years multiplied by twelve because there was 12 payments per year, is 60. So the question, part B, is asking. It's saying that after you, you're amortizing this loan over 300 payments. You've made 60 of them. What is the unpaid balance? Essentially, what is the present value of the loan after 60 such payments? Okay, so we want to find Q. <coughs> so plugging that in, that'd be Q is this number, uh, 1461.158322, and the multiplied by this, this number. <coughs> so I'll plug that in. So plugging that in, that's 123.475.2569. So then multiplying those two numbers together, That is one eight zero four one six point eight nine nine two, and then rounded to the nearest cent. That's one eight zero four one six point ninety. So I'd like to <laughs> like to make sure that everyone understands the significance of this. This is a loan, and these are approximately similar to somewhat bad terms on a house loan. So the house loan is $196,000, more or less. And after five years of paying $1,500 a month, more or less, the principal unpaid is $180,000. So after making 60 payments of $1,500, after paying, after paying $90,000, <laughs> only 16000 of it has applied to the principal. And that's really scary. And that's the answer to the question.